Number 10, S. Carlos Jaffe Rodriguez. Carlos Jaffe Rodriguez lost a large portion of his brain and skull after flying through his car's windscreen and landing on his head. At the same time of driving he was on drugs. Doctors were forced to cut away large amounts of flesh and bone to help him survive and he has since been able to continue his life in Miami, Florida. Speaking out for the first time, many thought that his appearance was fake, until now. That is why it is not good drinking and driving, or drugs and driving. It is no good kids, he warns. But despite his anti-drug stance it appears he still continues to smoke cannabis every day. In a new video he has used his appearance and story to warn others not to drink and take drugs. Don't do drugs. Man with half a head explains how he got bizarre injury after crashing car while still. Number 9. Junri Balawing. Junri Balawing, born April 5, 1993, is a Filipino and record holder at the Guinness Book of World Records. Balawing is the world's shortest man alive measuring at Santometra, 23.59 in, tall. The declaration came during Balawing's 18th birthday celebration. Guinness World Records official said Balawing broke the record of Kijandrutha Pamagar of Nepal, who is 0.67 m, 2 feet 213 inches, tall. He stopped growing at the age of 1. Balawing, the son of a poor blacksmith, was born and lives in Sindangan, Samboanga del Norte, about 865 kilometers, 537 miles, south of the capital Manila. Although he was documented as the shortest living man, he missed the title of shortest man in history, which was held by Ghul Mohammed of India, who was 57 cm, 22 inches, tall and died on October 1, 1997. Number 8. Nick Steberl. Nick Steberl showcases all 10.1 cm of his amazing tongue to snap up his tongue-tastic record. Prepare to be amazed by the longest tongue in the world. 24-year-old Nick Steberl from California, has well and truly got the world record longest tongue licked. The artist and comedian supersized lingua has been verified as measuring 10.1 cm long from its tip to the middle of the closed top lip and is featured as one of the latest records set in the new Guinness World Records 2015 book. Nick's father was a huge fan of Kiss and as a child Nick would imitate Gene Simmons' infamous tongue pose, realizing for the first time that his tongue was longer than others. The artist and comedian loves the attention his tongue receives, announcing that I'm not only able to lick my nose, but also my Number 6. Gary Turner Gary Turner is able to stretch the skin of his stomach to a distended length of 15.8 cm due to a rare medical condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a disorder of the connective tissues affecting the skin, ligaments, and internal organs. With this condition, the collagen that strengthens the skin and determines its elasticity becomes defective, resulting in, among other things, a loosening of the skin, and hypermobility of the joints. In more serious cases, it can cause the fatal collapse or rupturing of blood vessels. Many of the people we refer to as superhuman are those who have mastered some skill beyond our wildest dreams they can sing higher than us, run faster than us, swim distances that would put migrating killer whales to shame, or perform insane number crunching feats in their Number 5. Tran Van Hayes Tran Van Hay acknowledged by the Guinness Book of Records, Vietnamese herbalist Tran Van Hay was known as the man with the longest hair in the world. According to his wife, Tran hadn't gotten a haircut in over 50 years, after getting seriously sick after cutting his hair, when he was 25 years old. And, in half a century, he only washed it a few times, the last time being 11 years ago. Tran Van Hay died of natural causes, at the age of 79, at his home in Kien Giang province, after dedicating his life to curing people, for free. His wife, Nguyen Thi Hoa, says Tran's personality changed completely after he stopped cutting his hair he became inspired by the local Buddhist monks, and lived a content life, as a herbalist. At the time of his death, 
Tran Van Hay's hair was over 6.8 meters long and weighed around 10.5 kilograms. As impressive as that sounds, the hair was a real problem for Tran, who couldn't even catch a motorcycle taxi or work as a farmer, because of the giant pile of hair he had to balance on top his head. Number 4. Francisco Domingo Joaquim Francisco, known as Chicken Ho, had become an internet sensation about two years ago, when videos of his incredible mouth stunts became viral on YouTube, but scouts of the Guinness Book of Records just recently managed to track him down, in his Angola hometown. His jaw-dropping tricks have been viewed thousands of times, earning Francisco quite a reputation as the man with the world's largest mouth. To prove there is nothing false about his reputation, Francisco participated in the Italian competition known as Big Mouth, where contestants literally put their jaws to the test. They put all kinds of strange things in their mouths, including saucers, coffee cups, bottles, but none could beat Chicken Ho's Coke can stunt. Francisco Domingo Joaquim easily won the contest and thanks to his rubbery 16.99 cm wide mouth, he also became the man with the world's largest mouth, according to the Guinness Book of Records. Even more amazing is the fact that despite putting a Coke can in his mouth every day, and having never been to a dentist, his teeth are perfectly healthy. Number 3. Ram Singh Chauhan Ram Singh Chauhan, a 58-year-old who hails from India, was given the title of world's longest mustache by Guinness World Records, for his 14-foot long mustache he hasn't trimmed in 32 years. Chauhan, who spends two hours a day grooming his Rapunzel-like mustache, called it his most prized possession calling it a man thing. He told the mustache is the symbol of pride and respect. Chauhan said his mustache has led him to travel the world to show it off, citing trips to Italy and Germany, where he was invited to the famed German Beard and Mustache Club. Number 2. Brian Shaw Brian Shaw, born February 26, 1982, is an American professional strongman competitor and winner of the 2011 https slash slash and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash brian underscore shaw underscore strongman site underscore note 3 2013 2015 and the 2016 world's strongest man competitions shaw has become by some measures the strongest man in history Shaw is also the first man to have won the Arnold Strongman Classic and the World's Strongest Man Contest in the same calendar year, a feat he accomplished in 2011 and then replicated in 2015. In 2011, Shaw once again participated in the World's Strongest Man competition. Going into the final event, the Atlas Stones, Shaw was tied with two-time champion Zadrunas Savakas. Shaw beat Savakas taking first place. In the 2013 competition, Shaw led Savakas into the final event, again the Atlas Stones, and again beat Savakas to win the competition. Shaw also won the 2015 and 2016 World's Strongest Man competitions. Number 1. Nick Vujicic Vujicic was born in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, in 1982 to Dunksa and Borislav Vojiai, devout Serbian Orthodox emigrants from Yugoslavia. His parents became active in a Melbourne church. His mother attended nursing school at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne while his father worked in business management. He was born with focomalia without some fully formed limbs. According to his autobiography, his mother refused to see him or hold him while the nurse held him in front of her, but she and her husband eventually accepted their son's condition and understood it as God's plan for their son. Vojicic has two small and deformed feet, one of which he calls his chicken drumstick because of its shape. Originally, he was born with the toes of that foot fused. An operation was performed to separate the toes so that he could use them as fingers to grab, turn a page, or perform other functions. He has been able to use his foot to operate an electric wheelchair, a computer, and a mobile phone. 
Vujicic attempted suicide but notes that he had an amazingly normal childhood Vujicic thrived in his teenage and young adult years despite being bullied. After his mother showed him a newspaper article about a man dealing with a severe disability when he was 17, he started to give talks at his prayer group.